Okay, it is New Year's Day. And I never came out here these poor chickens yesterday. But with the wind chill, it was like 24 to 26 degrees below zero, they were claiming. That's freaking cold. So, I am sure, I made sure their food and their water was nice and full. So I am sure that, you're dirty. I'm sure they're ready. It's like 15 degrees today and it feels colder than hell. They said it's like, it feels like eight with the wind chill or six or something. Wow, you're still dirty, hold on. So anyway, now we are going to give them some water, but what I need to do first, I need to open this and this thing, may even have broke it up going like that but oh yeah it did oh there's still ice in there oh it might be frozen again i don't know let's check hi guys you can hear them in there they're like you never let me out yes they let me out i'm not sure how cold the weather they can stand wow look at all that food get back get back oh their food's low they know don't tell me this is frozen again. Oh my God, it is frozen. That's how cold it's been that that actually froze again. Okay, I'll give you guys water on the other side. Hold on. We are going to, wow, that dropped a lot. Hold on, I'll stick you up in that spot I always put you. All right. I brought them a bunch of water. Like always, I can't believe that thing's frozen again. And I am going to let them out because they never came out yesterday. And I'm going to put water. Yeah, somebody asked me about this tractor. What is this? I have the hood and everything for it and the steering wheel. It's just off and it's in the garage. That is a, I can't remember. I think it was a 1950 Pennsylvania Copar Panzer. It's an extremely rare garden tractor. But uh, yeah, it needs to be restored. That thing just jumped up and packed at this water. Wow, that thing's frozen right there. That ain't gonna hold water, it's frozen. That's frozen too. Let's get a bunch of water in there. There's water. Get back, get back. You guys wanna watch them for a minute? Watch, I'm gonna leave you in there to watch these chickens for a minute while I fill this thing. Let's see if they attack that camera. Hopefully they won't poop on it. You guys hang out with them for a minute. I'll come back and get you. What'd you do? Thanks for babysitting the chickens for me. All right. Well, we'll latch these back up. I can't believe that thing froze again. I mean, like I said, they said it was like 25 below, but with the wind chill. But I really thought that they would stay warm in there now that insulation's in there. I guess it can handle cold, but not that cold. So that thing I ordered did come in. I'm probably gonna have to use that now. We'll see what we have for eggs in here. Uh, look at all that bedding is gone again. Where in the heck did the bedding go? Where did it go? I don't get it. Where is the bedding? It's not in there. Five eggs. I don't understand where this bedding went. Now I'm gonna have to put bedding in there. I don't, this really blows my mind. I don't know where the heck all this bedding is going. Nothing is getting in there. I've looked for tracks. I've looked for holes where raccoons or something could be getting in there. Nothing is getting in there. So I don't understand. 
where it's all going. I mean, that's craziness. Not like they're eating it or something. But that's crazy. I mean, they have plenty of bedding. I just don't know. If anybody that watches this has backyard chickens and you've ever had this problem before and you have the answer, I'd love to hear it. Not from those of you that say, I think this is what it's doing. I don't know though, because I've never had chickens and I have no idea what I'm talking about. But those of you that have had chickens or do have chickens and that exact thing has happened to you, then I'm very curious to hear how you solved it or what caused it. Because I don't know. Man, my ears are frozen. I should have put a hat on before I came out here. Well, I'm not going to leave them out here long. A couple hours maybe. And I'm going to come back. That sun is really bright. So we have, we have five eggs. They had a little bit of food, not too much. They were definitely out of water. I wonder when that thing froze. But they have plenty of water now. They should be good to go for... I don't know, a few hours, and like I said, I'll come back out here and check it again. I may have to plug that thing in today if it don't warm up enough. We'll see. We are going to take another walk out back. Look at this light. That's one of them laser light shows that shines up on the front of your house. And puts on a cool pattern. But not no more. That bad boy is covered in snow. All right, so see this ice eliminator bird bath the icer. I'm not so sure this thing will go down in that pipe. It might, but we need this little three-way thing because I only have one cord. I don't have like regular power back here, I guess you could say. What it is, I'll show you. Somebody before we bought this house, they ran power underground and it goes right there to that outlet. On the outside of the shed and this shed was here i built this one in the lean-to in the chicken coop so somehow that goes from the house underground all the way to here have a good day! what i think he yelled have a good day he's obnoxious i love that little fella but anyway so i take an extension cord and i run it from there and of course it's laying on the ground through here it goes right up to here and that's how I have the heat lamp plugged in so are they even outside you are you're some crazy crazy little buggers man as cold as it is out here and you're just gonna hang out out here the feathers keeping you warm I wonder it's been about two hours did that water freeze already we gotta check that out. I got, look, I have full Carhartt bibs on, two swatch, or sweatshirt, and then this Carhartt jacket, gloves, winter hat. Guys, did that water freeze up I gave you already? Didn't break it up, but. Man, it did. There was some food in there, like some squash and stuff. Wow, it froze right up already. Well, we're gonna fix that for you here. I have a plan and I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. You wanna know how I know it's gonna work? Because I'm not gonna stop until I get it fixed. That's how I know. So, drop any eggs while I was in there? I mean, I've only been in there a little bit. No eggs. I'm like, my butt's too cold for that. All right, well, that's what we're gonna do. Let's go and see what I can't rig together. I'm not exactly a farmer. <laughs> this is a backyard chicken coop. I'm trying to move the legs on this thing so I can mount it. Okay, so, I mean, this is a backyard chicken coop, but I've worked on a lot of farms over the years, especially when I was younger. When you do any kind of farming at all, period, you need to learn how to rig stuff. You need to learn how to make stuff happen and take what you have and make it work because you're not always going to have what you need to 
to get done whatever you need to get done. You know what I mean? So you're going to have to find a way to make it work. Now, this ain't exactly going to go down in here. Holy crap, that sucker froze up already. So, this fit in there? Well, it will, but look, that's as far as it's going in. Because it's frozen. So, we're going to take this heat lamp plug here. Ow! Hard plastic sucks when your hands are cold. Oh, that broke. <laughs> that's going to up the resale value. Bah, bah, bah. Hear them? They're going nuts in there. They're like, get me some water, you idiot. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. All right, so we're going to plug this three-way into there. So that, I think we have extra slack on this thing, like quite a bit of extra slack. Perfect. So, all right, take this little humdinger here, put my hand up through all these spiders that are in there. You know, because there's spiders everywhere out here. So that plug is out of the weather. This one won't exactly be out of the weather, but that's okay. Now we're going to plug, hopefully this can handle all this without blowing a circuit, but there's only one way to find out. You know what I mean? Get rid of that thing. I'm going to plug this into there. And this sucker should start warming up. As it warms up, it melts that water down. I can slide it down in there further. You can't even see that. By the way, once this, now this still goes into the heat lamp, but once this heats up and I get it down in there, I'm still not turning you the right way. Let's try it one more time. So we got our power cord come into our three-way. This cord's run into the heat lamp. So now once this thing starts heating up and it starts to melt some of that ice down that's inside there, then I can slide this down in further. And once it stays all the way down in there, you know what? There's only ice right there. We need to get this bad boy down in there. I need to break that up a little bit. I'm going to stick this up there for a second. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we got in here. It's only ice right there on the edge. So, I know I got a screwdriver or something in here. Oh, we can use that. That is an old diving knife I've had forever in a day. Let's stab it out of there with this. Because it that's safe, right? Right? See? Yeah. Why not? I'd say it's pretty safe. That'll work. Let's stab this ice out of here. Pull that away from there. I think it's just it's foam right here. It's the only thing holding that piece in. I wonder if yeah, look at that. So just stick this some of a gun up there. All right. I don't know if you can see, but it's only frozen right there. So this is getting a little warm. Not too much. We need this sucker be down in there. Now it might take a while. I 
It might take a while, but that should heat that thing right up. And this should slowly start to fall down in there. You know what I mean? Let's see what them buggers are doing in here now. now look at that one still up there. That's the one that likes to attack me all the time. Yeah, you stay over there, hard ass. Look at this. Oh my god, look at this mess. Huh? You guys like a bunch of kids. Look at this. This is all food. Pulled out of there. That's all food. You kidding me? And they knock it all over the ground. You know what I think they're doing? Look how thick this is right here. I think they're getting in there and kicking it with their feet out into here. And that's what they're doing. Look at this. Knocking all over. Okay. I'm going to fix your hind ends right here in a second. I have an idea. Well, we'll leave that there. We got to fix that thing. I got to have something laying around here. A piece of PVC pipe over there. I definitely am not going to the store today. I know I have something around here. I may have to go up front and look for something. But. You know what? These are the old chicken feeders and waters up here that I had from when they were little. Check this out. This is from when I was a volunteer firefighter. I have all kinds of plates up there. See that? Which gives me an idea. I think those are bearings from a sulky on a mower. Look at all these fancy zip ties. You can always rig stuff with zip ties. I have an idea. We're going to fix these little buggers. Well, get back. Okay, look at that. You wanna talk to the camera? Say hi YouTube. Well, you don't like that flashing light? Well guess what? I'm sticking you right there. Go ahead. Say hi YouTube for a minute. Look at them packing at the camera. Well, you can't tell, but that's what they're doing. What's the matter? You guys looking mad at me, like what in the hell is he doing? Tell you what I'm doing. See, I gotta put this like on there somehow. So there's just enough room to get their little heads down there and get food, but they're not knocking out all over the place. Look at that. And the messed up thing is they never did this in the summer. Look at this. It's all food. Look at that. Now you gotta pick through your bedding and the food. Yep. That's right. Yeah. I need to cover that off. I could put like duct tape or something on there, but you know what? They'll peck it and they'll eat it. Like, see all that up there where there's great stuff insulation? I had to uh, cut all that out of there because they will literally peck at it and eat the insulation. I know, there's no water coming out in here. I know, you guys are looking like, what in the hell? I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Don't worry. It'll be fixed soon enough. Alright, well, I'm not going to be able to rig that up like that. I'm going to have to go get what I think I'm going to do. There's water on the camera. Why is it every time I set the camera up in this spot on my videos, I always find something on it. Um, what I'm going to have to do is go get I think I'm gonna get a cap that goes over the end like PVC cap and then I'm gonna half moon cut it out so the cap slides over and then there's only a smaller area and that will close off part of that because I don't really know what else to do because they're gonna keep destroying that and that's all I can think of to fix that thing yeah. All right. I can't think of nothing else in there. So that's pretty much that. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this in there for a while. Oh, wow! That just broke right through there. I can hear water splashing. See water? Look at that. 
Boy, that didn't take long. Let's shove this bad boy right down in there. Look at that. Must have been a layer of ice right on top. A layer of ice right on top, and now it broke through there. Now it's just water in there. Wow. I bet you that'll start pushing water through there anytime. That's not going to take long at all. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back, troublemakers. Hold on. There's the other way. I know. You guys know. You're like, oh, man, he's in here. That means water's going to be coming through. You guys know the drill, huh? But there's ice in there. Look. All that food's like gone. The whole tube. It's empty. That whole thing's empty all the way up through there. Because it's all down here. Yep, that's right. I know. You guys want more water. Trust me. It's coming through here in a second. It ain't gonna take long. You hopping down there. I want to make sure there's no frozen up ice in there. I know. You guys want your water. I'm going to have to take a board and put up higher like there. Because they can squeeze right through there no problem. Some of them I've seen on YouTube are thin. Small areas to get through. So I'm going to put it higher so I can't kick it all out. You look. See it all coming out? Chunks at a time. It keeps knocking all over there. And that's what they do. And it's everywhere. Uh-oh, I think I felt some water. I didn't, but I will in a second. It ain't gonna take long. We're gonna give it a few more minutes, see what happens. I'll get back with you guys in a minute. This thing's getting long. Saw it out all the way down. That didn't take very long at all. They're in there drinking. Well, a couple of them are in there drinking. These ones are out here playing around. Them buckets are frozen solid. The water I poured in that one over there this morning. Psh, that didn't take long. There's a solid quarter inch thick layer of ice right across. I just poked it down through. But they're out here having a grand old time. It's like 14 degrees out here right now. And they said it's like negative four or something with a wind chill. And, uh, but they're still loving it, having a beautiful time out here. I, I don't get it. They're crazy as hell. But whatever. Cool. Now, you know, I don't have to worry about them. But it's, uh... They're good to go. I guess that's about it. That is it for today. Um, this vlog, I guess, is about nothing but the chickens. Nothing else to put in this one. It's New Year's Day. I didn't have anything planned. I woke up, I went to the gym, and got a great workout in, and then came home and messed with these chickens. Did all my billing for the month. I think I told you guys, I offered a lot of my customers either seasonal prices this year, or paper plow and invoice at the end of the month like I do every year and uh, they said no I want to stick with the paper plow and some of them you know their price for the season would have been like 350 for the season and I just sent them 400 and 500 dollar bills <laughs> some of them got 400 dollar bills some got 500 dollar bill you know that that's their bill for the month because it wouldn't stop snowing it's it I can't remember last time it snowed this much in December in my area. I mean, it's very common. It's what it's supposed to do in my area. It just hasn't for years. But it has this year. So, oh, just kicking all this ice and crap out of uh, down there in my wife's van. But, so, they're getting high bills this month. Now they're all going to be like, can I switch to that seasonal rate? Nope. Nope. I don't change it now. It is what it is. So, I don't know. That's just the way it works sometimes, I guess, right? You win some, you lose some. 